apples and anchovies in a pizza. And if you think I'm crazy, let me show you. So I have two different kinds of anchovies. One which is packed in salt and the other is packed in oil. And honestly, the difference between fresh anchovies and canned anchovies is pretty much the same as the difference between canned tuna and fresh tuna. It's a completely different ball game. I just wanna mash this up in my mortar and pestle until it turns into a really nice garlicky salty paste. Because when it's done, I'm gonna spread it all over my pizza. This is store-bought pizza dough, one of the many modern wonders of the world. I remember the first time I ever tried to make pizza. I was about 12 years old, and my pizza dough didn't turn out anything like this. It looked a little bit more like a dried up, burnt cracker. So I am a big fan of store-bought pizza dough. that anchovy paste all over. All right, it's apple time. I'm using Macintosh. They are tangy and sweet, but they still like to hold their shape when they're cooked. So they're perfect. This is gonna look so good when it comes out of the oven. I think this pizza just needs one or two final touches. A little bit of fennel seed, which is gonna be really, really great with the apples. They already smell really great. A little bit licorice-y. And this is cambazola. It's going to be soft. It's going to be creamy. Because when you're eating pizza, you want it to be ooey gooey and cheesy, melting all over the place. Cracked pepper. Last but not least, a little hit of olive oil. And the one thing you need to know about making pizza at home is that your oven has to be hot, hot, hot. Cause that way it'll get nice and crispy and brown. There is truly nothing better than a homemade pizza. That cheese is just oozing down the sides. Oh yes, here we go. Mm. Mm. Salty, cheesy. One of the best pizzas I've ever had in my whole life. apples and anchovies in a pizza, right? Home, yes. <laughs>